Hello everybody, my name is RJ and I'm going to be playing through The Escapist. Um, pretty much have a basic understanding of the game. I uh, played a little bit of it before, but haven't actually made it out of a prison yet. So let's go ahead and get started. Get to pick several characters. Go ahead and pick the bald guy because everyone knows the bald guy is tough. And we're gonna name him uh I don't know. We'll name him Fuzzy. Uh this is uh oh wait, I probably should say it. this is the prison I'm gonna be playing through Center Perks, which is the very easy prison. I haven't broken out of here yet. Um this will be our cast of characters, and let's go ahead and get started. So if you've never played this game before, it's basically a uh, game where you try to escape out of a prison, and you are an inmate that doesn't really have very much to begin with. Um, some people selling stuff here, just check, checking, I can't really buy anything right now. Ooh, some pretty good stuff. Um, basically, that you sure. Um, you can accept quests like I just did to get money, which will let you buy things. Um, but basically, the game is set up like a prison, I guess. I'm assuming I've never been, but you have a schedule that you need to follow and go through. Like right now, it's a morning roll call. Then we will go to breakfast, and after that, um, I think it's free period. But every uh, day is broken up into hour blocks or two hour blocks, and um, you basically have to try and plan your escape while also maintaining to that schedule. So, like right now, I'm in the break or the cafe, cafe, cafeteria. I don't know. Um, let's see what this guy has here. Oh no. I just want to see what you. Nope, I don't want to mess with any officers right now. I'm too weak. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to sneak out and head over to the exercise room because there's also a uh, attributes that you can increase. Like, uh, you get strength, speed, and intelligence attributes that you need to improve. In order to do certain things, the strength the attribute um, affects how much health you, your character has. And when you start the game, you can see it starts out pretty much everything starts at 30, it looks like. So, by me pumping iron, I can uh, increase that stat. And I believe 50 is the maximum health you can get. So, generally speaking, if you're not trying to speed run the game or whatever, kind of want to go through your stats within the first couple of days just to try to um, improve them to the point where you're survivable uh, when you fight and stuff. Uh, speed is dictates how fast you can move and uh, intelligence is the third one which allows you to craft items so certain items require a certain level of cra uh, intelligence. And it's usually the more like higher quality items or um, complicated items you need will um, require more intelligence. All the attributes do degrade over time, and I think they actually degrade faster if you're sent to the shoe, which is the solitary confinement thing. I think that's right. I'm not sure. All right, so it's lunchtime. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just show up chill for a bit and then I'm gonna leave and pump some more iron what quest does this guy have okay. usually want to start off or I like to start off with um the uh, prisoner related quests don't get to piss off the guards are actually pretty well they have a strong 
Oops. So guards will get angry at you, but it's not too bad in the beginning. Oh, laundry. Forgot I got it. Uh, there's also a job mechanic in this game. You can have jobs in prison. Uh, so or contraband detector is important. You don't want to set that off. Um, but basically, this is another way of earning money throughout the game. And you just want to fill out that job quota. You don't have to stay here once that's filled, but you do have to fill it in order to keep your job, which is pretty handy when because it's a steady source of income. You're not going to always be able to do um, missions all the time. Alright, so now I did that, I'm free, I'm going to go ahead and work out some more. Get my health up. I'm not sure if uh, strength like makes you attack stronger. I would like to me it would make sense if it did, but I don't think so. I think the uh, the only thing that affects your damage output is just the weapon that you're using, which I don't have any right now. But I'm not really concerned with that for the first day. Just want to pump iron. That's what I'm gonna get to do. Also, I don't know what's up with those little spots that just appear every now and then. It's kind of weird. I noticed that there's some people that have mops or brooms, and then I think they sweep them up or something, but I'm not sure if that's their job or what. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, too fatigued. Oh, yeah, so basically, you can see these numbers here. This is your cash on hand, this is your health, this is your heat level. Um, when this goes up like around a hundred percent you're pretty much dead or the guards will want to kill you or knock you out basically um, you also get shot in the face by snipers if you uh, if you have a high heat level so you always want to try to keep that low uh, fatigue as you just saw rises up to a hundred percent if you're doing stuff like working out or filing events or something um, when your fatigue is at 100% you can't fight back, you can't interact with items, um, so you kind of want to keep an eye on that, make sure it's it's low before you get into a fight, especially if you get in a fight, because you can't even fight back to defend yourself. And this guy, oh dang it, he woke up. I was going to wait until the guards left, see what this John has to offer. Grab the guard, no, thank you, don't want to mess with the guards yet. Sure. Find me a sponge, sure. What do you have, Darren? Huh. So just beating up other inmates should be pretty simple. I think after this it's gonna be meal time again. Good progress for the first day. Almost at 30 health. Alright, just want to show up for dinner. If you miss a certain um, activity completely, um, your heat will rise. I think it goes up to like 30% or something like that. But it does go up. I think once you report there or they see you're there and then you sneak out, you're good. As long as you like show your face. So continue to do this. Might make it to 40 if we're lucky by the time we have to go to bed. Sorry for all the click clackity of the keyboard. I'm trying to get these numbers up. I should make a macro. I have a keyboard that lets me make macros. 
Oh, I can just turn it on or off whenever I need to hit Q and E repeatedly. I might do that for the, for the next video or before the next video. That way it'll be a little less annoying when I have to do stuff like this. Almost maxed out here. One more. Alright, cool. Cool. Uh, check our stats real quick. We are at 74. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, fight. So I've been to find out that fights are actually a good way of harvesting stuff. Ooh, yeah, so I had a weapon on too. Sweet. Um, sturdy pickaxe. Like, yeah, this is a good way to like just loot. Because, especially when they both go down, as long as the guards don't see you, um, you're pretty much free to take whatever you want. And that's one way of getting items when you're inside the pin. Alright, let's do it. Let's pull off again. It's almost a uh, roll call again. Prisoner stash right here hidden. These have keys sometimes and items that are useful. I've never been to this portion of the map. I'm not sure what that is. Is that the roof? That might be the roof. I don't know. It's like a hallway. Alright, airport evening roll call. What do you have, John? I can't think anymore. Is there anything I can do right now? No. So yeah, they search uh, people's prisons. I'm not sure if it happens every night, but I know it happens every morning. Um, I have money, money. Duct tape's pretty useful to make stuff. Ooh, file. File's pretty good too, I'll take that. This is over, then we gotta go to bed. Go back to your cell, and then go to sleep. It saves uh, the game every time you go to sleep. The next day begins, day two. only contraband I have are the stuff on me which is alright because if they search my cell they're not going to find anything wrong in there. I probably should just leave the cards in there. I don't need to carry them. Actually I can leave everything in there. I'll see. Who do I need to beat up again? Morris. Aiden. Lewis. Morris, Iden, and Lewis. Okay. There's Lewis. Morris, right there. Iden. I'll see if I can quickly kill one. Or kill one. Take one out. Like in a blind corner or somewhere? Nah, doesn't look like it. Sorry, we got all day to do that. Meantime, I'll sneak over to the gym, pump, push out a few more reps. Yeah, we're almost maxed out. We'll max out today for sure.
Alright, so that's one person down. Morris, more swim in the bathroom too? Oh shit. Oh no, I accidentally started a beef with two people. My mistake, my mistake. Oh wow. <laughs> I was strong enough to take both of them on, that's funny. Um, did I... What was I supposed to do? Oh wait, that was... Morris was the one. Pillow. Someone wanted a pillow. Right? Oh no. He was using a pillow as a weapon. I don't know. Yeah. Lucky enough for me, I was pretty strong. Thanks to all this iron I've been pumping. Alright. I'm gonna have to hide all this stuff. Actually, I think I'm gonna go there. I can't carry. Oh, dang it. DVD. Huh. Hey John? No. It's almost lunch time. I gotta uh, dump all this stuff because I can't carry it into the laundry room with me. I don't. They're not gonna search my cell today, so it should be good. Oh wait, my weapon too. I always forget about my weapon, which is bad. I repeatedly gone into the laundry room with uh, thinking that I didn't have any contraband and I forget that um, I have a weapon equipped alright time to do our daily job Almost maxed out on health. Oh. Did I click it that many times? I was not even paying attention. <laughs> Whoopsies. Oops. So, the benefits of having the laundry room access is you have access to guard outfits. Now, I'm not sure if, uh, they'll fit or if they'll be detected in a contraband pouch, which is, a, I think, a way to sneak items in and outside of uh, the laundry room. Or any type of metal detector room. Uh, also, the metal detectors somehow pick up on anything that's red. So any kind of contraband you have, um, it will basically detect it. it I don't. It's kind of weird how it works that way, but I guess it's just a way of monitoring or trying to restrict certain items to the prisoners. Gameplay-wise, it's just it just needs to be there. Even if it doesn't make sense. But anyways. We're getting close to 50 here. The next thing I need to work on is... Um, I'm going to get my intellect up before speed. Just because I'm still pretty quick. I can run away from the guards. With what I have. Whoops. I think the speed comes more into play when you're trying to, um, when you're actually breaking out or trying to do certain things during the night. Yeah, you kind of need to beat time because the slower you are, the more time you waste. But we're not really at that point yet.
just minding my business. Does he have anything? Batons are really good. I think I might just buy that tub of talcum powder. That's actually pretty handy too. I'm not sure if I can take on a guard yet or not. If I can take on a guard... Ugh, I'll waste the money. Whatever. Batons are like really good weapons to have when you first start out. Alright, so my health. We're almost there. Oh, alright, alright. I'm surprised they haven't taken that pillow. It's just laying there in the bathroom. It seems like this game is kind of missing like the janitors too. You, I would expect them to have janitors. Sorry about that. Uh, gotta get to know her. All right. Let's go and take a breather. Alright, so I should be maxed out for that. Who else do I need to beat up? I need to... Morris. Uh, Lewis. Wow, Lewis is like on everyone's shit list. Who's Lewis? Is he like fighting right now? Ah, oh, this is Lewis. Should be able to take him out pretty easily. Just need to find the right corner to take him out. And so the way combat works in this game is you there's an uh, passive mode and aggressive mode, and you alternate between the two. Take him out right here. There's no guard. Okay, then. I think I just got stacked with a whole bunch of messages at the same time. So. He had some chocolate on him. Oh, dang. I caught for freaking taking that chocolate. So, as you can see, I'm still pretty quick, even though I haven't upgraded my speed. It's pretty easy to run away from the guards. And they eventually forget, or just like, I guess, let it go after a while, which is kind of weird when I first started playing the game, I was like, what? I, I just broke the law again, and you're just gonna let me go, but whatever. Ooh, guard outfit. I, I have access to guard outfits, I just need a way of sneaking them out. Let's get another quest. Try these rooms, but Lewis can be the first one. <laughs> Nobody likes Lewis. Lewis is on everyone's shit list. No, I don't want to do that. Right in, Morris. Morris has a job. Sure. If I see one, I'll give it to you. Carl. Do you have anything? Oh. Whoops. Nah. Darren. I still need to beat up someone else, am I? Morris, Lewis, DVD. Oh, Radford. Oh, beat up Lewis. Okay, Radford. Oh, there's Radford. Oh, perfect. Going in the bathroom. That guy just walked through the wall. Oh, shit. I think I picked a fight with too many people. Oh, I somehow won all of that. Oh, and I got the glass shank. Glass shank is so powerful. Bottle of medicine, I can use that right now. Top of top and powder. Alright, cool beans. Bottle of medicine. It's... Oh man. I looked out there. See, it's kind of hard when there's too many people stacked on top of each other you can't really like 
make out who's who. So, guess what? I have the baton, which I'm... I don't know. That was a waste of money now, but oh well. I'll put this away, the chocolate. I'll cure, carry all this stuff. Tub with super glue. So, trowel. Alright, so the, the talcum powder will let me create key molds, which is pretty important if you want keys. Uh, the super glue and toilet paper will make paper mache, which is needed for fake vents. Because you can't just like file down a vent and leave it open, you'll get caught. So you gotta put a fake vent over it. I'll wait for those two to duke it out. Okay. Nothing really fancy in his pocket, nothing really fancy in his. Oh, comb shiv. I'm gonna flush this down the toilet. It's a really good weapon. Oh, it's a roll call. Sheet metal duct tape. Duct tape's pretty important too. Actually, I can make cutters. Take that. Those two. I can make some cutters. But the, actually, the file is probably more useful right now. So I gotta get through the vent system. my desk clean. Sometimes I don't pay attention to when they're coming in my room. Alright, so day number three. We out. Did my stamp go down? It's at 98. Let's see here. I need to get some of these quests done. But First, I probably, you know what, I'm going to concentrate on my intellect, because I'm pretty sure I can't make half the things I need right now. I didn't have more, sorry. Cool. So, pretty much the only way that I have found to raise intellect, at least in this prison, is just by browsing the internet, which I'm not sure if it's that's the best way of learning things. I know Wikipedia is pretty cool, but... It just seems like uh, <laughs> resulting all your knowledge from online sources seems kind of sketchy. <laughs> but in any case, let's check out. I think I can get one more quest. Let's see what these guys have to offer. Poster. We have Carl. Baton. More talcum powder. I can't really take things. Um, damn. I kind of want to get rid of this baton. There's ways of hiding stuff on this map, too. Um, for whatever reason, if you hide things in this upper left room, guards do not go in there. So they kind of just sit on the floor forever, or until you get caught. Um, but I do need to hide my file and stuff. Since they're not searching my room today, I'll be fine if I left these in there. Um, yeah, you know what I do need though? I need to make a dummy. I wonder if I can even make that. Nope. Of course not. I'll just dump the, all that in my desk. Oh, I'll dump this. Today is going to be a, not an aggressive day because I need to go hit the books. Oh, wait. I forgot to put my shank away. Alright, 
Where's the internet room? And there's never anyone that goes in this room. Well, I think the guards do actually, but I've never seen a prisoner actually come in here. Believe it or not, browsing the internet will cause them. Which I guess is true. Yeah, so it's kind of my speed's not very. Actually, I can kind of tell a difference now. Oh. Okay. Oh, that officer is glitched out. Oh, lucky that one of them was able to make it to the fight. Oh, damn. I don't think... Oh, wait. I'm supposed to be... If, I, if you sit down in the lunchroom for some reason, it takes away um, fatigue. I'm not sure if you just sit down anywhere if that'll have the same effect. Alright, let's go do our laundry real quick. Do I have any weapons on me? I don't. I forgot to preload these last night. Or yesterday. It's not really necessary. You have more than enough time to get through it. But you do get a little bit of extra time to do other things. Internet again. So, as far as my plan of breaking out, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a guard outfit. So I plan on going into the vents, and there's a vent that leads into the. Uh, oh, but you know what? I I don't know. Oh no, there's a way because it's over the. Um, let me check real quick. Where's that vent located? Oh, that's not what I want. Oh, it's in the middle of the room. So I'm gonna need some kind of stair stool step thing. A rope? I've never used rope before. But I imagine if I left well, if I leave the stool or the step ladder or whatever. I wonder if they can trace that back to me. Because there's a way for, um... Exercise period R. We're gonna, uh, running. Or, you know, I'll max out my strength. I like having 50 health. I need to take a shower. Dang, there's a big fight going on. Um, yeah, oh wait, whoops. So there's gonna be, I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get a guard soft. I could always try and buy one, but they're not always for sale. Or I can always get one off a of guard. Wait, did someone want a poster? That's not a poster, that's a magazine. Right? There's a way to make a poster. Not sure. Poster is a magazine and duck roll tape. I'm also going to need keys. 
to go to the evening meal. Intellect is going up. It's good. Oh, wow. Pack of mints. I'll eat those. Kind of funny too because like you can actually I think was it the knives dang so many knives full stack you can actually file with the knives oh whoa, whoa, whoa. also I'm not sure if uh if real prisons have plastic knives, I, I imagine anything resembling a knife, no matter what material it's made out of, it's probably a pretty bad idea. You don't want any kind of like stabby, pointy objects. You can probably mess someone up pretty bad with a plastic knife, depending on where you strike them with it. I know broken plastic hurts like a mother. Somebody's getting beat up. Where? Oh, I think it was up north. Oh, in the courtyard. Damn. Oh no, he saw me loot. Oh no, he did. Trade one of these. Dental floss is kind of hard to come by. Um, you can make. I think. Cutting wire with dental floss. Oh wow. Three wire makes a big difference, huh? Interesting. Contraband pouch. I'll drop a knife. Get that foil. I have a lot of stuff to file with. I should be fine. All in cell search. Please, not me. All right. Oh, fuzzy. Do I have anything in there? I have tons of stuff. <laughs> well, actually, not that bad. Oh, oh, jeez. Uh, duct tape. Uh, dental floss. Alright, so basically, you don't want any kind of red items in your desk or cell, period. Oh, Shiza. Huh. Alright, I'm gonna make this item real quick so I can open up a few more slots. I didn't really want to make cutters this early, but necessity calls. Alright, so as long as you carry them on your person, you pretty much good. So, I'm not going to really do anything tonight because they called my soul search. 
which means that they can go at any time random in the night and come in there. I think that's what hap happened to me in the past because I was like, I can just go in and do whatever I need. Yeah, see, there's nothing in here, right? Get out of here. Okay. Alright, so, made it to day three. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it right here. And I'll see you guys in the next ep episode. Thanks for watching.